could see from that intro, I am going to be taking part in a collaboration with Mark Ratcliffe. He is a UK artist. Um, he emailed me and asked me if I would interest, be interested in doing a collaboration with him. And I said, absolutely, because you learn things from different artists and you learn some good stuff and you figure out some things that maybe you were doing wrong. So I've been enjoying really watching his videos. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, so I was very flattered when he sent me an email and asked me if I would uh, do that. Um, so what we agreed to do is just tell some things about each other and that way we can get an idea of what kind of colors we want to use. So he gave me three things about his life. I gave him three things about my life and what we grew up with and what we were surrounded by. And so we decided to take those three things and come up with a color scheme. So that uh, uh, video is going to be released on July 17th. So I hope that you'll go over and look at his channel and in my channel as well. Take a look at that um, when they are released. I will link Mark's channel down below in the comments section. That way you can go check out his work. All right, guys. All right, so we're gonna jump over to the actual video for today. So I will be right back. This morning, I'm going to do a Dutch pour. Um, I got a limited time amount of time to be able to pour because I live here in New Hampshire. We're in a heat wave. It is going to be 95 degrees here today. So I'm in my basement. That's where my studio is. But even keeping all the doors closed and everything, it's still probably a good 78, 79 degrees down here. So I'm going to pour something early this morning, get it out of the way before it starts to become a heat box down here. So. Um, I am going to be working on a 15 by 30 canvas this morning. And again, I'm going to do a Dutch pour. So I'll get you down on the canvas. And then we'll talk about the colors and how I'm going to lay out the paints. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've got today is I'm using my Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic White. And my mixture for this, this is a giant yogurt cup, which carries, let's see here, 907 grams. 907 grams this thing holds. So what I have in here is 400 grams of Floetrol, 200 grams of white, flow acrylic white from Artist Loft, and just 15 grams of water. Just trying to thin it down a little bit. Honestly, the 15 grams probably doesn't do squat. <laughs> but as you can see, it is runny with just the Floetrol and paint and that, that little bit of water. It's gonna be harder to blow out uh, when I flood the canvas, but I'm just gonna put a little extra colors over top of it to make it a little bit easier for the colors to move. So the colors today I'm using is Amsterdam's greenish blue, Pebeo's iridescent blue green, Liquitex dioxazine purple, Deco Art berry, Pebeo iridescent green blue, uh, Creative Inspirations, uh, Payne's Gray, love that color. And my other, one of my other favorite colors is Amsterdam's Thalo Green. Uh, Thalo Green I'm gonna put on last because that's what I want to show the most of, or to be at least dominant in that in the color scheme here. And we got two, four, six, seven colors. That's my usual range, six to seven. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be hanging this canvas vertical. So I'm going to do a line straight down the middle and just blow the petals this way and that way. So I was thinking maybe I should turn it sideways so I can have an easier blowout, but I've got long arms I can reach. So, all right, let's get this flooded out here. And again, this is going to be kind of hard to move around. So I'll probably just speed you up so you don't have to watch. All right, scrape that off just a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to pour my paint along the edge because then I like to use the hairdryer to blow it over. That helps cover the sides. And then I come in the center. And sometimes I use too much paint doing that, but all right, let's blow it out. Here I stand, I own the OK, 
Okay, so yes, definitely thicker, but that's okay. It works. Um, got to keep my apron out of this. I've got a lot of air bubbles because I did mix this up this morning. So I'm going to torch this for air bubbles now. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is, I, again, I'm going to lay the colors straight out down here. Make sure I get enough on the canvas for it to move. We're just going to go out for larger petals. Nothing Nothing too small, or excuse me, smaller petals. Nothing too small, but not huge, because I want to keep a lot of the negative space on the canvas. And I'm sure everybody's watching the news and seeing how much of a heat wave we've got going on. So hot. still have a few of these old squeeze bottles left full of paint, so I'm going to start using these colors a little more to get rid of them. Or I could just go ahead and dump the paint into a new bottle. It's gray. Now the Stalo Green really comes through, so I'm not going to use a whole lot of it, but done. Let's torch this for more bubbles just in case. All right, so I think I'm going to start here in the middle, work my way up, and then work my way down. Let's hopefully I can keep my cord out of this too. This is actually pretty the way it is. <laughs> All right, here goes. Beautiful colors, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of cells. This is nice. I love it, love it, love it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of clean up the edges a little bit. But I'm loving the blowout technique. It was great. The petals aren't too big. It keeps a lot of the negative space. So let's just work on this a little bit. If I can reach them, every, reach everything. Uh, somehow I got 
got something here. Have to fix that. Okay. Get over here. Just got to get to this side here and this side over here. It's this thing. Ah. Every day, I'm always dipping myself into this paint. Trying to get the petals kind of evened out a little bit. Gonna torch for any air bubbles here. Good, equal space, negative space, I'm digging that. All right guys, I'm gonna bring you down off the tripod and show you the wet result, be right back. All right guys, here is the piece. I'll bring you in and so you can see a close up. Got lots of cells happening here where the colors are mixing. Oops, stay in focus there. Beautiful, beautiful blowout. This color combo, just amazing. Thought it would be a little bit harder, you know, blowing out because the white is so much thicker, but it really didn't have that much problems. So I think this is the concoction I'm gonna stick with until Artist Loft can figure out their formulation issues. All right, everyone. I can't wait to get some crystal resin on this. Everyone, here is the dried result. It's actually not quite dry. It's still a little damp. It's been very humid here. So um, I might, it's just, I mean, I'll show you. I'll bring you in for a close up. But I'm also kind of perplexed on how I want to hang this because I made it with the intention of it going vertical like this. However, I think when you turn it sideways, horizontally, it looks nice at that direction as well. So I'm not quite sure. I'll show you both directions and then I can get you guys to comment and let me know what you think. So I'll take you in for a close up. <clears throat> I love the color combination, all the cells that came out. It's a little wet, like right here. It's kind of hard to see in this angle, but um, I'm loving the way the composition came out. <clears throat> and like I said, I can leave it like this vertically, or I can turn it horizontally. Um, yeah, just loving the color combination. Really, it's vibrant. And once I get some resin on this, it's gonna really blow up, so. Um, all right, so I'm gonna back out here. I'm gonna make, turn this, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here it is, turned sideways. So you guys let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. Um, anybody who wants the piece, they can make that decision upon themselves on how they wanna hang it. Um, but it's just a beautiful piece. I just really love it, so. 
You guys let me know in the comments down below. And as always, just uh, if you're interested in any of my pieces, you can email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do post a new video. All right, everyone, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.